next one uh, we have over here uh, the value of the function f is given by uh, so um, uh, the function gx is given by sine x minus cos x and it was a period of 2 pi in order to define the inverse function g which of the following is spec specifies a restricted domain of g provided a rationale uh, and provides a rationale for why g is invertible on that domain so we have to keep in mind that for any function to be inverse it should be a one one function okay now for sine x minus cos x i want this to be a one one function and it has a period of two pi in order to be the inverse then which of the following specific uh, specifies a restricted domain for g okay and provides a rational as to why g is invertible in that domain uh, 0 to pi because all possible values of g occur without repeating on the interval so we have to make sure that it doesn't repeat itself you know we have to make sure that if fx1 and fx2 are getting equal then that should only happen when x1 and x2 are equal because that is the condition for a 1 1 function okay all right now since the graphical calculator is allowed, I'm going to graph sine x minus cos x. All right, so I have the graph of uh, both the functions ready. Uh, this is not required, by the way, since we are not solving it algebraically. So this is the graph of the uh, option A when, uh, uh, you know, I have the function uh, uh, sine x minus cos x, which is between 0 and pi interval. It looks like this. And the other one is... Uh, like this so other one is going to look like this over here i'm just going to place it here for the moment where uh this is sine x minus cos x which is negative pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4. now remember they want that to have a restricted domain so that the inverse exists and inverse exists only when it falls and when it passes the horizontal line test and clearly between for this function it is not passing the horizontal line test because the horizontal line is intersecting if i draw at this point it is intersecting at two distinct points so zero to pi will not work so zero to pi is just ignored now it's either b or d because here you can clearly see that any horizontal line is intersecting the function only at one point uh, i'm just going to uh, find out which one is that so um okay uh now if you read option oops if you read option b it says that it is negative pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4 because all the possible values of g occur without repeating in this interval that's option number one they occur without repeating okay all right and uh, because the length of this interval is half of the period that doesn't really make any sense right option d doesn't make any sense so it has to be option b because all the possible values of g occur without repeating on this interval that's what we want we don't want the y values to be repeated so the answer for this question would be option number b over here hope that makes sense